My name is Alex Schuford. I'm president of Century Furniture, a 68-year-old family-owned furniture manufacturer based here in Hickory, North Carolina. What we want to do today is take a piece of furniture from our Century Signature upholstery collection and cut it down so you can see all the pieces on the inside. And I'll do a little bit to explain what each of these pieces do for comfort, for shape, and for longevity. One of the most important skills when making a piece of upholstered furniture is the craft of the cutter and the seamstress. The cutter's job is literally to create a jigsaw puzzle on the fly in three dimensions. They take your fabric and then they envision it on a three-dimensional form like this chair. We four-way flow match our product in the Century Signature collection. Four-way flow matching means that we match the pattern all the way down the front and then also around the sides of the skirts. The pattern will also match down the back of the chair and on the back of the chair skirt. The interior of a fine upholstered chair has many layers of both batting, foam, and spring to provide comfort. As you remove the exterior fabric, the first thing that becomes obvious is the pretty soft layer of Dacron. It provides both initial comfort and also a smolder barrier to provide for UFAC compliance. You'll notice how clean and white the Dacron we use is. Pulling off this Dacron layer unveils the poly foam layer underneath. Each of these components is specifically cut for the piece of furniture that it's applied to. It's a lot of Dacron. You'll notice here we also use that downy white Dacron. And if I rip through this, you'll find that underneath it is the wood layer. That Dacron is encapsulating the entire frame so that it's not hard when it's touched. You can see on the underside of this poly a label specifically tying this to the chair. You'll notice that it's nice and thick, providing comfort, and that we've also added an additional patch on the inside of the poly to provide lumbar support for the person sitting on the chair. Those two are adhered together using a spray contact cement. What you'll see underneath this poly kit, when we remove it, is another layer of downy white Dacron that's encapsulating the spring system. The spring system is another piece that is specifically made for this chair. And any chair in our line that has a spring system of this sort would have a custom made one also. Again, the Dacron filling in all of the voids around the spring system. And then the spring system itself. These springs are independently encapsulated and then hog clamped together on all four sides so that the unit works as one to support your body as you lean back. This spring up system is called a Marshall unit. Beneath the Marshall unit is a sheet layer called Typar, very similar to what you wrap your house in. This sheeting layer is used to keep all the materials on the top from migrating through the back. Underneath this sheeting layer on this chair is also a row of sinuous wire springs. The sinuous wire springs are adhered together using a cardboard wrapped wire that again has been hog clamped across the middle so that the spring unit will work as a single unit.
Underneath the arm fabric, you'll find another layer of Daycron. And as I remove the Daycron, again, a custom cut piece of poly. Daycron again, being pure white with no flaws. The poly is stapled to the frame by the upholster and makes the shape of the arm. The fabric should not be used to pull the shape. The foam should do it itself. There's an outer layer providing comfort to the top of the arm. The outer layer will be shaped to fit the arm exactly. And then also an inner layer that pads the inside of the arm and provides additional support. The goal of every layer being to work with the layer above it to keep your body from feeling the wood frame and providing the top level of comfort. The edge roll on the outside of the arm softens the frame edge so that when you're sitting or leaning on it, you don't feel it. The interior arm of this chair is built on a layer of Propex, which is a woven synthetic fabric with very little stretch to it. Provides the perfect base for which to build each successive layer onto. This chair may have as many as five layers on the end arm. The lumber used in our frames is a very clear hardwood lumber. It's made for our upholstery plant by our Case Goods facility. It's actually exterior grade Case Goods lumber. You'll find that it's free of knots and voids, which provides much more structural integrity and a lifetime of use. We're proud of the strength and the appearance of even the wood on the inside of our upholstery. We pad the outside of our upholstery also with an eye towards durability and softness. As I cut through this out arm and peel back the fabric, you'll see a layer of downy white bonded Dacron that produces a nice tactile soft touch, but also protects it from the occasional bump. Beneath that Dacron is a layer of Typar, which is a non-woven material, again providing stability to the out arm and out back. Underneath the Typar, you'll see the solid hardwood frame again, and the backside of the Propex. The seat of the piece is one of the most important components. We cover all the seats in our Century Signature Collection with a fine tan denim material made of cotton. As I cut away from the denim, you'll see underneath another thick layer of Dacron, pure snow white. Again, no flaws, no imperfections. Pulling away the Dacron will slowly unveil the spring base underneath. It's a lot of Dacron. Underneath the Dacron is a Typar covering that separates the springs from the padding material on top. Cutting away that Typar will unveil the eight-way hand-tied spring base. Nearly every style Sentry runs has four layers of springs front to back. The four layers of springs eight-way hand tied to each other, provide the ultimate in seat comfort and support. Most fine furniture uses an eight-way hand tied spring system, one that we still consider the best. The eight knots in the waxed twine tie the spring to its neighbors and allows the spring base to work as a single unit providing support. The spring that I'm cutting loose here is a conical spring. You can see where the eight knots are across it. The conical spring is then twisted into our specialized strap base. Our spring system is built on a product called Neversag, which is a new technology that we're one of the very few that use it. In our signature division, this steel strapping, which is covered in corrugated cardboard to reduce squeaking, is used to keep the springs from ever sagging out of the bottom of our furniture. The 
coils literally lock in place with a twist. The front border of this chair is a sprung edge or soft edge. As I cut away the fabric, which is a little difficult to cut, you'll find underneath it a layer of Dacron again. This produces that barrier, smolder barrier, and also a nice padding on the top of that spring edge. Pulling the Dacron off, there's a layer of bonded Dacron. And underneath the bonded Dacron, you can see an edge roll. The edge roll has been hog clamped to that front wire. The wire on the front of this chair is tying together all the front springs so they can act as a single unit. Pulling back, you'll notice that we have significant amount of hog clamps keeping that edge roll in place. Removing the tie par underneath unveils the spring edge. The spring edge adds a little additional comfort to certain styles as it presses down about three inches with body weight. These front springs are also specifically shaped to be springs for the front of a spring edge chair. They have a loop it projects forward and allows us to clamp the wire edge to it. In the corner, we have a small spring that sits on the corner block itself to provide support to the T of the cushion. In a chair of this sort, there may be four to six different types of spring, both in shape and in gauge. We also lace down by hand the deck. The skirt is one of the most critical pieces of an upholstered piece of furniture. We do a boxed mitered treatment on our signature skirts and also sew a piece of fabric that matches the front to the bottom. That way if there's any random stretch, you'll always be staring at the decorative fabric. We also line all of our skirts and signature with a tan denim to finish the product off. Cutting away into the skirt, you'll find in our signature product a piece of Pellon that is sewn into the skirt treatment. And then attached to that Pellon, that's used as a stiffener and to give body, are lead drapery weights spaced about every six to eight inches and in the corners. And the lead drapery weights will be sewn in and provide the assistance of gravity in pulling that skirt down to a nice trim treatment, just like you'd find in a valance or in a drapery panel. Our legs are a multi-step hand-finished wood leg, engineered into the frame, corner blocked, double screwed, dowed and glued. The structural integrity of these legs is the best in the industry. Last but not least, is the cushion, which may be the most important piece of padding in the chair. We buy our cushions from one of the finest cushion manufacturers in North Carolina, perhaps the world, and they use double laundered down and have their own downproof ticking custom made for them. Every cushion should be zippered. Every cushion should be rotated with use. Inside the sewn cover, is the downproof ticking layer both sides. Century Signature comes standard in spring down. It is one of the best cushion constructions that you can purchase on furniture. It provides long life and resiliency and also a nice tactile soft touch. Inside of the downproof ticking is a jacket of feather down blend mixed with Dacron fiber. The Dacron fiber provides additional resiliency and the feather down blend comfort. Underneath the jacket, you'll find channeling throughout. The sewn channels keep the down and Dacron mix from migrating forwards or backwards in your cushion as you use it. That down jacket is on both sides of the cushion. Inside of the down jacket is the foam and Marshall unit core. Our core, 
you'll find wrapped on every edge with Dacro and shaped custom to the chair. The Dacron on the edge further softens the shape underneath the down and keeps the foam edging from telegraphing through the down jacket and showing. Inside of the foam, we have another Marshall unit coil system individually hog clamped to each other to act as a single unit. The hog clamping also keeps the springs from rotating within their jackets. A rotated spring could be a very big lump in your seat. You'll notice as I pull Marshall unit out, the amount of construction that goes into just the foam encapsulation, the entire foam unit is bordered, glued, and built as an envelope jacket to encase the spring unit, which is then wrapped and a down comforter, one of the best seat cushions in the industry. The beauty of a fine piece of furniture is found in each component. It's essentially stacking levels and layers of fine material in order to build what is a fine piece of furniture. It takes years of craftsmanship and dedication, and we at Century Furniture thank every one of our dealers, every one of our designers, every one of our consumers for your support in the ongoing legacy of such craftsmanship.